What is going on you guys? So what we're going to be talking about is security. So let's say you love technology, you're a gamer, you're a tech fan, you're a YouTuber and you do a whole bunch of videos or you just love c collecting all types of expensive technology and it's all in one room or it's all around the house and you want something to make sure that you have like you have all the stuff one day like it all gets stolen you have a file you want security basically you want to keep a track keep an eye out for your expensive equipment right so that is why i am going to be unboxing a wireless ip camera this is a security camera and it's from the company called insma and i'll have links down in the description below it goes for like about 50 bucks and the good thing about this camera for 50 bucks it shoots in 1080p it has night vision it has motion sensors 360 degree video you can connect it to Wi-Fi or Ethernet as a micro SD expansion slot for more storage it, it has a free app and also you can connect it to the cloud which is a hundred percent free there's no monthly fees or anything like that and so this is pretty insane like uh, for that price range of 50 bucks when you compare it to others that are similar around that they go for over 100 easily close to 200 stuff like that if you want more and this one is going to be very interesting so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unboxing this we're going to be taking a look at what it comes with we're going to be uh setting everything up and then we're going to see how it performs how it works how the quality is and how reliable it is because you want something to protect your devices you want some type of security to make sure that all your uh products all of your stuff are well secured that if anything were to ever happen, you have files, you have footage of the person that stole it. So let's take a look at it. All right, you guys. So as you can see right here, we got the product over here, wireless IP camera, and then we have an image of how the camera actually looks. So it looks pretty portable. So that is pretty cool. Once again, I have links down in the description below. This is from Insma, and let's see how it is. So let's uh, open this up. Okay, and then let's pull this, 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 and then this. Okay, so the first thing that we get is the website, Facebook, YouTube, and I believe an app. And then it says like, dear customer, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. Uh, cloud IP camera, quick installation guide. I might have to look through this because I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. And then we got the camera itself. So let's pull this out. There we go and a box of most likely cables and let's throw the box to the side okay so the first thing that we see that we get is a usb to micro usb so i believe you could power this through usb not 100 percent sure and then we got the uh, wall outlet over here so pretty cool pretty cool and then we got some other stuff some screws I guess to mount them anywhere. I'm not exactly sure. There's some packing gel which we do not need. And I guess this, I have no idea what this is whatsoever. Maybe, no, I have no idea what that is whatsoever. And then let's take a look. We got the camera itself. So we got the security camera itself right over here. It's from Insma. So we have a Wi Fi indicator, I guess the uh, e Ethernet indicator, and some other lights. We got the password and ID, which I'm not going to be showing you guys. We got a screw over here. So if you want to mount this on a tripod or something, and then you can see right here that we have the power input. We also have a reset button. We got the micro SD expansion slot, and we also got an Ethernet uh, port. So that's pretty pretty cool and then we have the camera itself we got the uh sensor over here we got the lens itself over here and then we got i guess a sensor for night vision or whatever it is i have no idea so this is pretty nice it's small portable pretty modern looking if i do say so myself so this seems pretty cool 360 degrees like i said uh 50 bucks 1080p night vision motion sensor 360 degrees 170 degree uh lens you know it has everything possible so we're going to be taking a look at this we're going to be setting this up we're going to be taking a look to see how the quality is and if it's really worth to buy all right you guys so after a couple of days of testing out the security camera i have to say i honestly really like it and for the price it comes with a lot of features so if we just go to the app it's the vsm a home and basically you sign in all of that you just have to sign in once after that if you have multiple cameras it'll just pop up but we have the tech hd security camera and if we click on that you can see me and my green screen you can see my um, my monitors my keyboard my microphone my lights all of that 
and so what we are seeing is the camera is right above my desktop and we could easily just move this left and right we could go up and down and you can see that all the lighting it takes for the green screen so now if we bring this back to the center there's a couple of features involved in this so if you see on the bottom you can see that there's the record button there's take the screenshot there's a microphone so we can speak to the camera no matter where we are so if we hold it and we say something yo so you can see that it's pretty responsive and then we can also hear if somebody's on the other side and wants to speak to me as well and then we can see on the bottom right we have a little settings where we can mess with the brightness the contrast the saturation the sharpness even the mode so if it's daylight or nighttime which is really cool so i like to uh keep it the way that i like it 60 50 75 25 in sharpness and the mode is set to automatic because it's actually really good and really like looking at this it looks really crisp and clear like it's 1080p at 30 frames per second which is good it's not like it's 4k or anything like that but for 60 bucks like really it looks pretty clear you could easily identify who i am so that's what's really cool and then if we see if we press on the hd part you can see that there's other settings as well so there's standard which will look a little bit more blurry a little bit more pixelated smooth just looks ridiculously blurry which is crazy so a lot less in quality but it's a lot quicker a lot more responsive as i'm moving my hand and stuff like that and if we go to automatic that's when it automatically sets it depending on the connectivity and stuff like that uh, i think it's set to standard but i like it on hd i don't really care if there's even like a couple seconds of a delay i really like the high quality uh over anything else and then we can always we can see on the top right the connectivity is like 286 280 uh kilobytes and then if we go to the top right and we press on the settings there's other types of things so if we go to the about we can see the model the firmware the device itself give it a nickname so the nickname that i have is tech hd security camera which is really good we got the device admin password and the guest password as well we also have the network so i'm connected to it through wi-fi i have the um i have the security camera connected to my internet through wi-fi and i'm not going to show it to you otherwise uh, you guys can see my ip address and all that and if we go to uh, osd you can see display text the date the time stuff like that so if you see any type of thief or anything like that you could it easily displays right there on the footage the date and the time and all of that we could go you could add an external uh, sd card a micro sd card and right now i don't have anything connected uh to that so i'm gonna just disable that we also have storage device so if you want to connect this to the internet itself like you can see please connect your device to the lan as shown to like the router and then that's connected to like an external hard drive or something like that and then we also have motion uh, detection which is really cool and it's actually pretty sensitive so if we enable it you can see during the daytime it's set to 84 nighttime it's up to 85 and then when it detects uh, motion it takes a snapshot records something and that's pretty cool so if we enable it you'll see notifications from my phone because I'm constantly moving so then we can see the alarm and then what it'll tell me snapshot record this and that we turn on we turn it on and then you'll start to see notifications start popping up because i'm starting to move and then if we go schedule alerts you could see like when i'm busy when i'm working or something like that it'll like turn on the motion sensor while i while i'm away so then if something moves it notifies me i can easily check and see what's moving maybe it's my cat in the background or something else we also have schedule record so enable and 24 7 24 7 is only for if you connect it to like an external hard drive and stuff like that and then day and time we could show the date the time like i said before the time zone and the automatic sync when the daylight saving time is uh changing the system is for if you want to restore anything if you mess something up so you believe and you just want to uh, restore everything to factory default or if you just want to restart the device if something's acting up and then if we go to others there's also the speaker uh the microphone how loud it is stuff like that you can flip the image and you can put the power frequency to 50 hertz or 60 hertz i prefer 60 i'm pretty sure everybody would prefer 60 and then you can just delete the device itself so then if we go back to it it's actually really responsive it's really cool it's like it doesn't take a couple it's literally like a second or two for me to like see any type of delay and then it's really cool like it's really detailed really sharp i can move it however way you want so you see i could keep on going 
and you can see more of it you can see my wallpaper the green screen itself so it is really cool i really like it i would definitely recommend something like this for 60 bucks it has everything and also let's test that let's test out the night vision part alexa turn off the game room okay okay so you see that the motion alert just hit me and then you see that the night vision just turned on and it is freaking crisp like it easily knows like you can easily see me it's really cool so i really like it and you could easily detect when it's me or something like that so that is honestly insane i like the automatic feature it takes like a couple seconds in order to activate and you can see the motion is starting to kick in alexa turn on the game room okay and then now it's switching back into daytime and then you can see the color is back so really cool so this really has everything it has motion detection and notification it has an app it has night vision daytime you can mess with the brightness the contrast the sharpness all of that and you could store it on your device or on an external hard drive or a micro sd card just straight into the camera itself so for 60 bucks this has everything 1080p at 30 frames per second so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will have the links down in the description below for everything and Really, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch. As always, it's Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.